Hey Rob here, response review, 11 year old child or boy, young teenager gets disciplined via Facebook, humiliated by his mother and grandmother, hit with the belt 60 times within 6 minutes and give me your comments below and if you think this is absolutely erroneous, wrong, this is the wrong way to discipline a child, hit the like button, also give me your comments and you know, as a minister of the gospel, which, is I, which I am, many people come to me on a regular basis sometimes, how do we discipline our children? Does God discipline us? First of all, God generally disciplines His children, us, by love. He does correct us at times. He would never humiliate us openly, and He certainly wouldn't rant and begin to span to sick. I mean, it's just completely crazy. I mean, these three parents really hopefully have learned a lesson. They've been arrested since for child abuse on many counts, and you know, the little boy's probably going to go into maybe foster care. Who knows? Maybe someone will adopt him that's going to treat him and discipline him the right way. And, you know, the kid, if he did something wrong, he should have been sat down privately, certainly not via Facebook on a social network, humiliated. I mean, if the kid was 15, 16, 17, which they may have done that in the future, the kid could become, you know, get bullied in school, ridiculed, mocked. You know, the kid could become suicidal for crying out loud. I mean... Yeah, this is absolutely not the way to discipline your kid. And the reality is, is God does love us. God does care for us. This is not the plan God has for his parents to discipline their child. And God does have a plan for everybody, by the way, under the sound of my voice. He desires to be in the center of our life or the center of our heart. The only way God can have that plan fulfilled is he has to have an invitation, simply because God will never not crash or blow the door down to our heart. You know, God's not a party crasher. God gave us a free will. And I'll give you an awesome scripture in the Bible, the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe, receive, accept, surrender, and submit your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, you would never perish. You'd have everlasting uh, eternal life. And who here under the sound of my voice doesn't want to have eternal life with God in heaven? Certainly, you don't want to be separated from God for eternity in a place that Jesus himself taught about in the Bible called hell. And desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God bless you if you prayed that prayer. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. Thank you very much. Also, on the search Rob would one. I have many of the ministry videos where I do talk about the Bible, Christianity, etc. Be blessed, friends.